Good morning. Welcome to Sacred Enzyme. I'm Stacy. I hope you're doing well today. I feel much better today. I'm perking right up, so I'm starting to get back to my old self. So I wanted to share some information that I came across uh, from the Ashiana Dean teachings for the uh, the uh, Emerald Melchizedek Melchizedek Cloister Cloister Emerald Order Tongue Twister, and. Um, she was talking more about the Luciferian Covenant and uh, Atlantis and Lemuria's destruction. Well, you know, they just ran across, five days ago, they just published in a scientific magazine that they'd found a yellow brick, ro brick road off the coast of Hawaii. And uh, and according to these teachings, this is, and this stuff, she's put this information out way before this. So um, she um, she noted to the, the fact that Lemuria is at was actually where Hawaii's at, where um, Kauai, Hawaii, is, and that's a Q site. So these Q sites are basically activator sites for stargates. So if you want to be able to use the stargate to get to Dimension Twelve, which is the Lemurian constellation, you have to go through uh, Cornwall, UK, Mansoor, France, and Kauai, Hawaii, because those are all the activation sites in the and the uh, mother sites of in the stargate so you have to have the the uh, disc it's like a disc it's like a disc that uh, is like a video game disc that cues up the stargate so I thought that was pretty interesting and then you have to know these fire words you know the fire letters and all of these things so uh, basically what uh, I learned which I thought was really interesting is that you had these Anunnaki's that were infiltrating from the inside. They infiltrated Atlantis. Well, you had these Atlantean kings, which I'm going to say that they're the Miriam kings that I've talked about in the past, these Irish kings, right? Because there's that big building down in St. Petersburg that shows all those faces on the side. And I think that those were Atlantean kings because uh, they were in this place, they were in an area called Lojas, which that's what the name of it was for this Atlantean, part of this Atlantean city, which was in, which was in uh, the northeastern uh, portion of Atlantis, which was where modern day Ireland, Scotland, and England are. So basically, these people that are here are all, uh, you know, that came from Atlantis, they were exiled, a lot of the Atlantean kings got out, and uh, they went up to Lojas because the southern portions were all being invaded by the Anunnaki. So you had Toth Inki and uh, all of these. This was a, all a group of Anunnaki groups. They have a hundred different ones. But they all blended their genetics and they all decided that they were going to join forces and that they were going to take over the planet. So how we end up having this a, a situation where Atlantis sunk and I the reason that they blew themselves up was because they were trying to basically like backflow the energy on these stargates by chopping one of them off. It keeps frequency codes from running through. This is what these stargates are. This is, these are codes. They come through these areas, these gates on the planet. They come through the gates on the planet and they work with our body's DNA structure. Okay. And see, this is why the bicameral mine was lost, was because they fractured the uh, link on Stargate 12, where nothing could pass. They created a firmament. And so it caused the, the planet to shift on its axis. So that's where we get in these pole shifts, is where they keep messing with these Stargates. So it really is all about Stargates. So you had these uh, Atlantean kings that became, are these uh, old... They're called Kells, but the Kells people were the proto-Celtic Atlantean civilization that's in the Iberian Peninsula, just like we've been saying all along. I mean, it makes me happy to know that we're getting some validation here on everything that we've been finding. And I really felt it like deep in my soul that I knew that's where Atlantis was, I truly did. So I think that's pretty interesting. So there were Atlantean survivors. And this is where I'm pretty sure RH bloodline comes from because they uh, spread out all through the Mediterranean basin. And, you know, they were in China, they were in Africa. It, see, it was a whole civilization of all different diverse people. It was not, it was not about race and skin, it, about skin color. It was about race from 
celestial planets, planets who are outside of our dimensional reality that were trying to change our DNA. It didn't have, you know, but see what they did was they scrambled everything up. See, and a pretty slick move too. They've been playing the long game, but they've been waiting for the stellar activation cycle of our planetary grids because over time, all of this stuff has been recaptured in the stellar activation cycle. That means that all of these stargates are open and there's frequency coming through. But if you don't have your, if you don't have a way to get your body prepped to take the DNA, get these activations for your vitality and regenerative uh, properties to your body and your mind and spirit, then you can't get them in. So this is why it's important that we have to do the seals. And, uh, and we also have to do the, um, the IMs in the morning. You have to start this. If you're going to do this work and get yourself prepared to, to upgrade your DNA, then you have to start with the IMs and they have to be said every morning and every night for three weeks. This is all a process. This is all methodical. This is, it may seem like it doesn't make any sense, but as you go along, it starts making a whole lot of sense. We're computer biological programs. We are full of programs. Everything on our body is a program. Our DNA is a program. These stargates all send programs through it. Everything is about programs. Our blood's programs. You know, our vagus nerve is our electrical system. This is one reason, you know, this is what kept coming to me last night because I was thinking about this. You know, they talk about these elongated skulls, right? Well, your vagal nerve, you know, I was reading a lot of, de I've been reading a lot of declassified CIA documents that are about consciousness and about RH bloodlines. And I ran across this one that they were talking about how they were studying consciousness. And uh, they were talking about the Monroe Institute findings. Well, they talk about breathing and bringing the breath up through the back of the brain. And you have a neural network that's up there. And it does a whole series of things. And they call it the, the face of man or something like that. It's on your head. And it's shaped in your brain. And uh, I think that, well, that's what gives gets you into the wave formation that you need to sync your body. So you can get, uh, you can connect with the astral world. That you can connect with your higher self. So maybe this is why these extraterrestrial beings that have these elongated skulls or skulls were elongated because their faces of man was bigger. So they had more antenna to connect. I mean, think about it. Think about it. If we're just going to think scientifically here, that completely makes sense to me that those, those heads were longer because they needed that extra, just like when, like when you're taking off an airplane, you know, you got to have certain uh, length to be able to drive the airplane down and and lift it it's the same thing it's like your you know it's like your little track here on the back and maybe the longer it is you know the more you can communicate or the better you can communicate or the more connected you'd be so i mean that was just one thing that i was thinking about i know it sounds it sometimes sounds like i'm rambling on but i get a lot of these things in in my head but i mean I just find it really interesting that, you know, it was 25,500 BC that we had this Lucifer conquest on our planet, and 22,500 BC is when they had the Aliana massacre in Hawaii. And that was uh, in Kauai, where there's supposed to be a hidden city underneath Kauai. So, I mean, this is bringing a whole new ball game to the. Uh, uh, this whole thing in Lahaina in Hawaii you know because there's also wormholes everywhere and these wormholes traverse into between these stargates these are like side paths and you know like they uh, have have us anchored from Stonehenge to, to Giza uh, to the planet Nibiru because they have control of the crystal grids on our parallel planet so earth is in a harmonic resonance with a parallel earth and it's held together with a crystal grid. And so the main focus of these groups is they want to control that crystal grid. And this is what it's all about. Controlling stargates. So I am happy to know that, you know, this RH bloodline people, I'm pretty sure. These are these people that were these uh, Mirian kings that came out of uh, Atlantis. From northern Atlantis, from Lojas. And uh, 
that's Ireland and Scotland. It's that Iberian Peninsula. So it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we got to wake up, folks. So it's been 10 minutes. I just wanted to share that little bit of interesting thing. I got to get, get back to my homework because I'm a little bit behind because I was sick. But um, I thought that that was very interesting. So basically, you know, um, we have this group of Anunnaki's now that really want our planet. We're in a stellar activation cycle. And, uh, you know, so I say no way. <laughs> no way. We're getting off this rock, guys. We're getting off this rock. So with anyway, with that, when you come and find me, I'll be here. Because we're living the past, present, and the future all at the same time. So if we can change today, we can change tomorrow, we can also change the past. Isn't that crazy? Because we're simultaneously existing on all these different realms. All 1,728 versions of ourselves is all at one time. Existing all at one time. Because time outside of our time matrix on the planet Earth doesn't exist. So it's just like a line that goes back and forth. You can go forward, backward, anything. My brother came and told me that. He said, time doesn't exist. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Still got a cough, but at least it's breaking up. So with that, get outside today. Put your feet in the grass. <clears throat> Set your intentions for today. This is going to be a beautiful day today. Give thanks to our Heavenly Father and the Divine Mother, Mother Earth. So with that, thanks for watching Sacred Inside. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.